All right, good morning and welcome to the Sports Buffet on Elegbata TV Radio. My name is Edafi Matthias. You're going to love to come in the Elegbata on Sports. It's Friday and you know how it is. It's Friday, anything and everything goes. So there is a whole lot of uh, backlog of questions concerning the cooperative that I talked about. And so I'm going to answer them today as much as I can. I'm going to explain. Those people want explanation. Those people want information. I'm going to explain further down the show. But uh, last night we saw Liverpool got ripped apart now if that happened away from home you would say okay it's okay the famous and feed where nobody can go not even man city man united asna even when ateta decided to play you never walk alone music at the training ground nothing somebody needs to go to the class of gasparini and find out what he did what he told his players and you know, I've heard a lot of people say a lot of things like, hey, this, uh, this is not, uh, there's nothing to uh, discuss about it. It's not a big deal. People lose matches. Uh, I'm feed obviously that defeat was going to happen. One big defeat was going to happen at home for Liverpool one day. Uh, some other side, they didn't even play their main team. But Vigil van Dijk was there. Keller was there. Canote was there. Gomez was there. Simikas was there. McAllister was there. Endo was there. Jones was there. Elliot, Nunes, and Cody Gapko. As far as I'm concerned, those players that started were good enough. And Cody Gapko gave a good account of himself. At least played well. The others were just pretty below average or probably just pretty shitty average. Okay? And um, you have... Um, a an Atlanta team that did not have any there's no star name that you know that that speak to you okay maybe it's Kamaka right West Ham fans will know that guy uh that name uh Musso was in goal for them and then you have Hien uh Jimas Jima City uh Durun some of the players in Atlanta in, in the Atlanta Atlanta team if uh if you did watch the game yesterday, I'm not sure by calling them, you even know them. Zappa Costa, okay, some of you know about Zappa Costa. Pasalik, Anderson, Ruggeri, uh, Kopemienes, and then you have Skamaka and uh, Keteleres. You know, all of these players are just pretty much basic. Let's see, West Ham level kind of player, Everton level kind of players. But they showed up, they bonded as a team, as a gang, and they shredded Liverpool. You know, in club, you know, everybody's talking about how they would win the quadruple uh, to send it for, to make him feel happy, to, you know, solidify his legacy. Uh, to me, his legacy is already solidified. There is nothing to argue about. But then, the way they were beating yesterday, everybody is now asking questions. But then again, this thing about football where a small team can be losing a series of games and there's no crisis. But once a big team lose one game, everybody shouting crisis, okay? I don't know how that worked, but it was surprising to me. Nathan Teller was su substituted uh, on in the 67th minute, and uh, Boniface came in in the 76th minute, 6 7, seven six, you know, uh, for Patrick Sheik. And then Hoffman came in at the same time as well, and the two of them were the inspired substitution that got Bayern Leverkusen. They are no longer never cruising. Bayer Leverkusen uh, went on to win the game two goals to nothing. In the 83rd minute, Hoffman scored a beautiful goal. And in the 90th plus one minute, Hoffman combined with his fellow substitute, Boniface, who's not played for three months or so, got injured, you know, just before they have gone and made it two goals to nothing for Bayer. And uh, that's now... You know, I've put that uh, the chances of the two English teams that are remaining in this competition, the UEFA Europa Cup, on the knife edge. What do I mean? A knife edge is uh, difficult to say they can overturn the result. We've seen Liverpool overturn a lot of results. We've seen Liverpool go down three at uh, what's it called in Istanbul, and in the second 45 minutes, they turn it around. So, this is uh, what do I call it? This is uh, for another 90 minutes left for them, they can do the magic, they can work the magic, but. It's not going to be easy. Um, Benfica didn't make it easy for themselves, even though they won two goals to one. But uh, by conceding one goal, they made it uh, difficult for them to come in. They were cruising at 2-1, uh, a 2-0, until uh, they allowed Aubameyang to score to make it 2-1. So now it has to, you know, 
I, I think they, they 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 brought in on Onahi to come and help assist uh, Obama Yang, and indeed he did that. And they are two one down, Marcel away from home. So we will see what happened in the second leg. Then it was an all Italian affair. Yes, an all Italian affair that ended up with Roma beating AC Milan at home. I didn't see that coming. I wouldn't lie. I didn't see that coming. Uh, uh, I can't remember the last time Roma go to Milan and beat AC Milan. But hey, you know, not everything is on paper. Some, you know, football is played on grass, no matter how much uh, people try to discuss it. And uh, I got a lot of messages yesterday that, hey, Daffy, please, you should do more of the pigeon than the English. I don't know what you guys think, but if you love what you, you heard yesterday and if you watch it later, somebody said he was laughing all through, like the whole watching and laughing and laughing and laughing and laughing and then he had to go back again from the beginning and watch again and then he had to go back to the beginning again. I mean, it was it was fun yesterday and some other person sent me a message, one regional sent me a message that if you're getting angry means you speak pidgin English like this, I'll find a way to always get you angry and you should do the show in pidgin English. I don't know what that means, what you, what you guys think. Tell me what you think in the comments section and then we will decide all that one jimmy caraga jimmy caraga you know okay we can call him a liverpool legend anyway tired leg uh crazy he was blasting the liverpool players for their performance but i think that liverpool have done well this is if you consider the size of their injuries the thing that they've gone through everything you look at liverpool and you say to yourself to be very frank and to be very honest frank talk on this matter liverpool have performed way better than any other team in europe this season even if they don't win anything again, say for the Carabao or the Calabar Cup that they've won, you will still give them a lot of credit. There's no team, please, if there is one, remind me, there's no team that has suffered as much injury, missing, missing players like Liverpool this season. Chelsea also suffered some injury and missing players as well. But Chelsea, we all know they have a terrible coach, so we can't even bring them into this conversation right now. But Liverpool, you know, still in the hunt, I mean, joint top, uh, you know, second only by good difference in the Premier League, still have a chance to fight back and uh, and uh, continue their journey in the UEFA Europa Cup and probably go on to win it, but it's going to be hard now. They just made their job very difficult to lose at home, 3 nil. But all it takes to change the tide is to score two quick goals in the first half and then the story again is torn. Atlanta will be looking lost. But then Atlanta is that team that always score goals. So no matter how you play them, they will score. They're not going to get carried away they will score goals. And if they score one more goal, then there's a problem. That's the way it is. Congratulations to Victor Boniface. Good to see him come back. It's not easy, you know, to go out of injury, go out injured and then come back. People look at it like, oh, it's your job, it's the process. No. Uh, sometimes the confidence just disappear. Your, 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 your gut feeling, your instinct just vanishes because of the injuries. Because you're thinking, what did I do wrong that time that caused that injury? I might do it again and then the injury will come back. So you're playing with a handbrake, you're playing with fear, so for for that uh, i say congratulations to him and uh, to all the teams i won well done to you guys but hey it is what it is we are here friday edition let's keep it running yeah so uh, let me read a few messages there's a whole lot of messages i can't read all of them but i'll read a few okay this one comes from george uh george says uh, hello Idafi. i watched the show after i did a rerun and um i saw you talked about your cooperative please give me in details share details on the friday show uh what is all about uh is it officially registered is it just uh like anosusu or what is it all about because i hear you say 5k cooperative 5k where would it land okay hmm. that's a very good question there george uh let me answer that one okay so there's another question about where's that one okay there's another question about the cooperative millicent uh millicent says um, hi my name is millicent and um uh, I'm a lady, but I listen to, I watch your show, not live, but always uh, after because our time zones are not the same. But I, I love the, the talk about your cooperative. Not too many people in your position think of things like that. So I would like to have an explanation. I will not watch the live because I'll be sleeping. But when I wake up, I definitely, you know, watch it while I do some of the cleanup. I mean, I'm not going to walk. I'm not going to, I'm not going to walk walk okay right the walk twice i'm not going to walk walk on friday so i'll be able to watch and then hopefully you explain and then i'll reach you back if uh, that is possible yes uh Ade Yemi also said please bros i hello help us uh, explain this your cooperative if not something we man picking fit join to take the shop small thing they go forward we go do ammo. If not, uh, you know me. Just to explain, Asha, 
make make uh, man make man self okay man man self seek seek road okay take seek road now maybe that's all you want to say all right and there's a whole lot about that one so i'm going to i'm going to try and explain it to you people yeah let me also i mean this is friday so it's a mix i don't have the whole 30 minutes let's uh, see what happens there is also the rumor that uh, victor sime is the replacement remember i said this thing that time that if Kylian Mbappe is going to Real Madrid, the most likely destination for Victor Simeon will be uh, Paris Saint-Germain, the French league. And we say, oh, he's played in the French league before. There's no need to go there. Now, this is my reason why I think Victor Simeon should go to the French league. Uh, one, he's played in that league before, but he's not won anything there. And he's won the Italian league. He's won the highest goal scorer in the Italian league as well. So if he goes to the French league and he gets proper supply, proper service, and is able to also win the high school scorer award in France, which is going to be difficult uh, because that league is crazy. That league is the respect of nobody. But if he's able to achieve that, and then he's also able to win the French league in his career, he would have won two leagues. Not too many Nigerians can boast of winning league in different countries, apart from Kano Wankwa, who won it in Holland, won it in Nigeria, won it in Holland, and then won it in, in, in England. I don't think there are too many Nigerians that can say in their career, they won league here, yeah, here, yeah, yeah, and there, okay? So if he is able to do that, again, it is easier. The criticism is not high in France that like you have in England. I know that if he comes straight to England right now, the criticism, the, the talk on him will be very, very high. And I don't think he should go now. Not like he will not succeed in England, but he will succeed after maybe doing what he, 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 he can do in France. Thank you very much, Mr. Sedafi. God bless you. Love you. Uh, yeah. yeah, somebody also sent me a message about this, my wife, too. Uh, everybody have an opinion. Well, so I think that if he goes to France... Yeah, that's the way I think. Oh, I think if he goes to France, he would uh, do well. I have a chance. I mean, he's playing for. The, he's going to go play for the biggest team in France. What are the chances if he signs a five years or four years contract? He would definitely uh, ended up maybe of the four years that he would sign, he would definitely win like three or two seasons uh, as champions, and he will compete in the Champions League every season. Build his experience, build his profile, and then by the time he comes to England. Whether it's Chelsea, whether it's Man U, definitely not Asna. Whether it's Chelsea, Man U, or whatever. Also, I'm not sure he's going to go to Man City. Uh, at that point, he would have established himself. Or Liverpool, because Liverpool are going to be evolving. He would have established himself to the point where nobody's going to question him. If he doesn't do well, nobody's going to say anything. It's like, okay, the team didn't uh, come together. The team was struggling when he came in. Blah, 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 blah. But right now, if he comes to England and he doesn't do it, so that one in the league was a fluke. No, when I say uh, he didn't even do it, you have gone. People will have things to say. I know the way the word, the way the way the media works, and the way people see things. So I think it would be nice. Again, all of this love for Victor Simeon, let's be very honest, because he's playing for a team that is not heavily supported by loads of Nigerians. When he goes to play for a team that Nigerians are supporting, and then all of a sudden he's not doing well, you will see the love will go from love to hate. So it's always something that I I like to think that. He shouldn't um, uh, come to England. Yeah, but I mean, if you got an opinion, if you got anything to say, let's hear it. Lord Mayor, I mean, uh, Chris, Lord Mayor have de deleted his message. Christian and Amazing say, Good morning, boss. Good morning to you. See this community now, our own, our uh, local. For Liverpool, I hope uh, they crumble from here, but uh, I would not be surprised if they go to Italy and turn on the heat on Atalanta. Right? I agree with you on that one. Lord Mayor says, uh, Liverpool, uh, from four trophies to Calling couple on Apiro don't come out. Lord Mayor went on to say, Boss, why do I feel say one big teams for the title race go drop point this week? Well, uh, make we see first. Lord Mayor says, uh, 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 uh good day important in this uh, last running of uh, Bayern Leverkusen and uh, not just Europa because they don't already win the league. And I'm happy that he's back. I mean, what a way to go if he comes uh, this weekend and he scores the goal that wins them the, the league title. I mean, it will always bring about that last game anyway. So it's fine. It just, winning this weekend means they're champions for the very first time in their history. That's another good one again. That's another Nigerian player by the name of Victor that is winning a league title. Lot Mayor says, uh, boss, so my girlfriend won't laugh tired. She don't know most of the pigeon. I tired to explain the pigeon shot. Anyway, I like her because you just make me remember my stay in worry back then. Okay, thank you very much. At least I did something that got you and your girlfriend bonded. Uh, I mean, so let me let me say this. So those of you who want the Pigeon English thing, 
it's going to be coming one once in a while. It's not because I'm angry, but it's just going to be part of it. Maybe we're going to have like two days of the week where there's just strong pigeon English. And then, because I also know that there are a lot of people who are not like, okay, I have uh, foreigners who watch, who follow the show, who are subscribed to the channel, who don't understand pigeon English. So I'm trying to get the balance for, for everybody. But hey, home is where the heart is. I'm a worry boy. I'm an original worry boy. So... Uh, anybody who know me knows say pidgin English is a part of which I do. Uh, not the language I want to speak, and uh, it is with me. So maybe we can do Wednesday and Friday as the pidgin English day. Uh, everybody is calm because, again, on Friday, we don't really do just sports. We talk about all that things, and it would be very, very nice if we convert the, the Friday and the Wednesday to pidgin English. It would be nice anyway. But I, I like the re reception, the, the re response, the feedback that I've gotten. You know how it is. YouTube is not like regular radio. YouTube is your fans, your audience are the ones who determine a lot of things that you do. Unless they are forcing you, they're trying to get you to do things that are not right, are not legal, that are not the right thing to do, then you can put a stop to it. But uh, you owe it to them because this is direct. Apart from, you know, the people who, and I say this to other YouTubers who, I don't know, I'll be upcoming YouTuber, but people, they see me as their mentor. I don't understand. Eh, na na meti leto agosumbi aboni kiba magosumbi. They say you are my mentor, guide me. Which are the guide? I don't even succeed for the YouTube. But hey, to them, I always say to them, listen. There is a fine line, a thin line between people are they wanting to control you, and I see that all the time. I see that all the time, and then there is a temptation. You know, almost everybody who is doing one illegal thing or the other is looking for somebody that they will use as their leap, their 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 line, their fishing line. To launder their money to clean up their money and if you're a youtuber if you're a youtuber you're starting afresh like like i am the pain of starting and not knowing where you're going is so much that if somebody comes to you and say hey i'm willing to put five million into uh promoting your channel so that your numbers will rise and then uh, i will take you abroad to go and do content every tournament that uh, nigeria is playing i will take you there i will pay for you and your crew most times uh, before you will know, it's not like you want to do crime or it's not like you want to do illegal thing. Before you would even realize, before you would understand the dynamics, the complexities of what you are putting yourself into, you don't already commit to them. Because the way they be, because you're the lower side is the higher side. You will say one bros or one brother, one, one of my chairman. And it could be somebody that you are older than. Like in my case, I've met a lot of people like that. It could be somebody that you're older than, but because they are bringing money, you know how they say, well, you pay the piper, they take the toll. You all of a sudden commit to okay, let's do it, and then you say it is like, oh, uh, we'll go to the Champions League uh, to go and watch the Champions League. We'll go to the FA Cup in England. Uh, don't worry, I'll sort out visas and the rest. I use yeah. You're listening to this thing and it's sounding fine. You're not asking, bros, where's the money coming from? Why are you doing this? What are what is the end? What are you taking from me? People don't ask those questions. It's like, uh, girl, where they do runs? She nearly asks like, where? Why are you buying me a phone of over a millionaire? <clears throat> right. Why are you buying me a phone of over a millionaire? Why are you buying me all this with all you? You just take the take the take. The day when you want to use your breast and your private party do the ritual, so nobody will complain to. Like I was telling somebody the other day that look, um, some so, some guy was or some lady was complaining that a, a daughter, you know, one of my students, you know, she got pregnant, uh, complaining badly, and I said. Uh, Madam, now you're complaining to me. She didn't get she has left the school like she has left us like four years now, right? So it's not like it's her fault, too. so it didn't come from us. And the person that got her pregnant, do you know the person? Say no. I said, This is your daughter. I've been seeing her on social media, she's been everywhere buying expensive women. You stay in in a ghetto. Let me not mention the name now. You stay in a ghetto, your daughter comes home with a seven hundred thousand era with on. Your daughter comes home with a phone, two iPhones. Okay, that I want over a millionaire. You're not asking questions. And now you're complaining that she's pregnant. The person that is paying all those money, money without pass, what did they pay 10 years bright price? Yeah, you are not complaining that she's pregnant. She go burn her more. She go burn her. You know, so some that's again, as parents, we must also do our job. I mean, I remember growing up, just say you go buy egg, cook egg, you call Ukoh, you just knock out, you call the shop. Up. <laughs> if they catch you, somebody go your hand like this, take you go meet your mama. The beat that started beating for roti. You reach where when you reach your mother, your man go complete go do the finishing, right? Fatality. And why they say because make you not be thief. Now it's a different thing. You begin go come home with things where we say, no matter how you walk, you begin at the walk, who you go bring all those things come home. You not go talk. Then you call the verse, they give a belly, or you call the verse one they say, 
uh, the user to do ritual. They go use and do ritual. Yes, they go use them. If you not teach your children well, my mother say, "Oh, my parents, that you are young, or I don't get any more." You understand? Far more person may interpret that part for you. You know, so sometimes, sometimes we must learn this thing again. There's something I wanted to, you know, bring up the, today. There is nothing wrong. We spend a lot of money now sending our children to school. We we pay heavily. The money where we say they send children. If you get to the children, many of the children go to school for one term. Now we take go to school from primary to secondary university or learn work and money will still remain. So more we still also try. Eh? I mean, there's YouTube now. More will learn uh, all these uh, recitation, CPR, I would call it, uh, CPR with them. More could learn them and teach our children. Again, there are certain information we must ingrain into the heart, minds, and soul of our children. Things as simple as wearing seat belts in the car, whether front seat or back seat. Like ingrain it in your children's heart. Uh, go back to the movie Transporter, part two. Uh, when Jesse Statham and that young boy that was kidnapped, that they had to inject the, the boy so that the father will have that virus and then everybody in the UN will be infected, right? What was the conversation? When you enter the man's car, you respect the man's car. You wear your seatbelt. That conversation, for me, oh, the whole movie, leave all the action, that's regular thing. When you see Jesse Statham, you expect action. Even as a beekeeper, he burned down an entire organization. So you know. But my point is, as the day for four years, five years, it starts with when your child eats, making you know how to pick a plate, go drop a kitchen. Uh, even if you never get car, still teach your children the importance of safety, of safety, teach them. Actually, it's easier for car. May you remember, say, what are they trying to say? May you remember, say, na, na, na motto for land, motto for water, and for up, nine day. Not the only motto you would carry your teacher. Teach them to say, when you enter boat, my brother, wear live vest. I want you wear, I know where I'm a swag. Pin the hook. Listen, eh? The first, one of the most popular boat mishap in Nigeria, I was part of it. One of the most famous boat mishap in this country, I was part of it. Omia to worry. In the night, we'll go play general -Gen football. With the comeback, the boat over full. Gabriel, Gabriel Fuji, my friend, died. Papa died. Rando, if you grow up in worry, there's a football club called Rando. Nelson Rando died. A lot of people died. Robert Akari is saved, uh, survived that one. Myself, I survived. I took time for me to even admit I did that boat because my mama for kill me. Uh, there is a guy who played in the 2001 under 17 World Cup in Trinidad and Tobago. His name used to be Akime in Roma uh, Akime, yeah. We can't, they can't use he, he went to the World Cup as Richard the Roma You yeah, So you can check him out. He was uh, with uh, Joe Imo Fair, Victor Skin, and I think so in that squad. The Femme Papu me said that squad. Now, why am I bringing this conversation? Well, I've seen recent incident that happened, and I'm watching all the video. I saw when that junior pope was making the phone. I'll leave me my mama born. I have three boys. This guy was not wearing life vest. And I'm saying, I am a fantastic swimmer. I'm not a Michael Phelps, but I did swim. They bomb I be river rhyme boy. They bomb me for water water area. My stepfather and I German. I grew up, I, I used to go to, I work for Escravos. I used to go to Baramatu, Okari Koko, Omiya, Alaja, Abi Alaja Boy, Alaja Negini, right? As I be swim. But listen, as I did so, one, you will never see me in a swimming pool. You know why? I don't like swimming pool. Too many people with different parik pata, my body, they always react to things. Two different parik pata, they enter swimming pool at the same time. And that's when people see me a counter. Even me for this flat, why they so, I need to like follow my wife, even back for the same bathroom. This is just who I am, okay? The same toilet. That's why now flat. <laughs> so now the talk of swimming pool, I know they go swimming pool. You won't see me in a swimming pool. Uh, I know they play that play. But you see river, I like river. Uh, they, they used to come in my motor picking. But what I'm saying is, I've gone on boat trip a lot, even in this Lagos where I did. My brother, if there is no life vest, I'm not stepping into the boat. Even for the jetty, where I go fish survive, there is a reason why. Safety not be something way that they compromise. So as we they train our children, uh, you know how they be uh, giving birth to children, be like starting war. 
you know where you for start to, but you don't know where you go hand. You don't know where you go kill. These children, so where we they born, so we don't know where they go go. And if we never ingrain in them, they talk say the things you put in your children is more important than the things you will to them. Uh, if you never ingrain all those small, small safety measures to them, uh, sometimes somebody suffering indigestion, you don't know, say you're supposed to turn them to their left side. Very small, basic uh, resuscitation skills, what we suppose to know, what we suppose to discuss with our children. Just the same way we need to discuss investment, our children will grow up. Like some of us now, we grow up with 50 years before we know the word investment. We don't know the difference between liability and assets. So somebody, uh, I've seen some, I might give you a good example. I've seen somebody, the other day, somebody see me, they use this phone. You see, you see this phone, it's a Samsung phone, right? A Samsung A24, mind the color, right? Now, you know, Samsung don't come out with new phone, all these things. And somebody saw me, I went somewhere, so a co hotel, I was at the poolside, I was eating. And somebody, you know, all these, you know, people who think that you're a celebrity just come and say, ah, bro, you're not big past this phone, no? because the, the, the front camera crack. You're not big past this phone, no? even as a content creator, people like, he's just like, people like the Sabinos not go use this phone. No? And I reminded him, I say. So the money we get money pass all the content creator we want put together for Africa. They use for we crack, not be big deal. Oh. You know what? This phone they stop anything what they do. You understand? I just use that one. It's our brass, you know, big pass. Them. You know, there are people who always rate you like that. That's a different kind of people. But I'm just saying that you cannot be wearing all of these expensive things and then some basic safety measures. If fire cash for house, for gas, how the they put them off. Some people go all wrong, panic. And the more you panic, the more there's problem. Put wet rag. Find a way to put wet rag. Attack the fire from the source. Wrap around them. It will cut the fire. You're off the gas, for instance. Those are some basic things where you need to teach your children. You need to teach people around you. Uh, but we need a dwarm. Okay? If there is an electrical spark, electrical fire, what do you do? Where do you go to first? What's the first point? First point is go to the source. Remove the fuse. Because if current need to come again, the only way you want to stop now, if you go pour out of electric fire, you will kill yourself, right? So remove the fuse first for meters from the source. Off them, do change over, come out for light, up for, new, for the middle. Then you can come back and attack the source as fast as possible. That's the best way to go. All of these small, small basic things, we need to learn them. Because the idea, say we need to do these things, it is surprise me. Somebody you capsize this eye water. You carry a comma side. People carry the shot. They do live stream. They shot, they shot. Before, they, if they do CPR, then maybe the person will survive. Okay? And then now we're hearing people saying, nah, nah, village people, now nah, we we just build the house. People know what make it progress. No. First off, I say this. They say don't speak ill of the dead. If the dead behave foolishly, we'll speak ill of them. We'll be speaking ill of Adolf Hitler since forever. He's a dead man. If you enter a, a, a boat for water and you know where safety you're, you're committing suicide. People should even be jailed now if they catch you because people they cross road when they use flyover now 50,000, I'll be 500,000. I'll be defined. So, maybe they define people too for not wearing a live vest. And then the boat way, the boat operator way go carry person with no wear live vest. They should punish them too because the way would they waste life? I said something to a friend the other day, say most of the things what would they pray to, eh? what would they pray to God for, and what would they catch wish for. If you ever go abroad, whether you go stay or you go visit, stay some time and come back, you'll notice the most of the two we pray for. So, I'll give you a good example. We pray for Nepal to give us light. Hey, as I go out to God, may light do. If you die abroad, you don't. That prayer point is dead automatically. Uh, we pray for hmm, there are other things we pray for, like God. Uh, this light with this. Hey, God, make uh, uh, the, get, the people there ask me to remember pump water. You don't pray that you don't pray that if you if you live in in, in 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 abroad, for instance. Now I'm not saying people should run abroad. I mean, obviously not going to go, but over here we pray. That's not something to pray for. That's a common sense thing. Okay. Uh if you fix automatic switch for your water before for your compound water, the light could come on and the thing will do automatic ego pump. When it do, there's a stopping ball. Once it full, it will stop. But hey, we're not gonna invest in that one, we'll go do something else again. Investment. People, people hear investment every day on social media. But you go choose to go watch the one way people they shake your hands, people they do this, then you got to wonder why investment not there. So let's talk about the question that everybody's been asking me. Uh, this cooperative. The cooperative are not form them in the first place with the idea of, oh, make the whole world gather. But like we always say, war. You start it, but you don't know how many people that will be involved. So this is how it started. If you remember when we first started the Elegbeter TV, first ever live stream, after we don't do sports as the old, the team crash, 
we do uh, grassroots football. We notice it, the numbers then they grow. Can't decide, okay, let's do something after my personality that I'm involved in presenting because I wasn't done with presenting. With I wasn't done with analyzing. I do some bet show too, uh, bet compass, bet uh, this one, and then we got to that point where we needed to get a show. And uh, I remember the EM show, the Adafimatu show, where I could bring in celebrity, uh, uh, top footballers and interview them. But we quickly realized that we're not going to fit uh, sustainable because uh, we're in Aja, we're not on the mainland, we're not on the island, island, island. This is Asket of the island. As uh, Island going to worry, that would be. So we decided to do a show that involved the fans, the audience, because that's how you grow your numbers. Again, if you do YouTube, your most conscious focus is grow your numbers. If you're not thinking of that one, come up for YouTube, okay? Because now when you grow your, your numbers, now money will come. Now, we started a show called The Talking Point Show. The Talking Point Show, because uh, we did like four days of live stream uh, for two hours, we get only three or four people viewing. We quick, I quickly realized that it go hard. So what we now did was to get people in a WhatsApp group. Uh, we call them friends and fans of Elevated TV and Radio. We put them there and we told them that, look, oh, this is a show we're doing oh, but probably when we do the show live, you might not be available. So what we want you to do is please send us a video, no more than two minutes of we share the talking point in the WhatsApp group and put it on Facebook, on Twitter at the time. We're streaming on YouTube, Twitter and Instagram. And, you know, they will record and send us. Then my producer will insert it after I write the script and tell me the names of each person. They would insert it. Some were just sending audio, some will send video. And that was how we did it. Okay. At some point, we now evolved. The group was becoming an all-commerce group. And you know how it is. WhatsApp group is the most difficult place to manage, okay? When people say president, don't know what they do. Just to manage WhatsApp group, you understand how hard it is to manage human beings. And then we now move because some people were committed like their life depend on the project, okay? And these are people that I've not met before, not seen, you know. And then and I moved and I said, no, this is not fans. These people are not your fans. These people are your family. A family is not, I've always known anyway. My mom raised me to say, the family is not only the people that your mama and papa born. Family is everybody who have your interests at heart. So saying that, and I changed and I migrated them to the elevated TV family group. So we had all of us in that group. And they were supporting. They bought us generator. They would pay for fuel. They would pay for data. And wow, we don't grow. <laughs> we're not, we're not cry about that again. You know, they will pay for data. Sometimes in the middle of a show, the show will go off. They would send data. They were just they had the number of the 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 that time we we're using MyFi, then we moved to iNetflix, and then I went 5G, you know, modem. And then they were doing all that. And so one day, I think it was my wife who said, All these things that these people are doing for you, when will you pay back? Women are women, all right? They they they're smarter than men. And I was like, they are my fans now, supporting the, the, the product. I mean, am I supposed to pay back? She said, nothing is free. Oh. If they're giving you this much, to whom much is giving, much is what? I complete the sentence, expected. They said, that expected time, the time where they go draw down, where is the return on investment? I said, the return on investment is for me to be successful. If this project is successful, we will help people. I said, no, that one is normal. You will help people. But these very people... Carry them along so that you grow with them because your assumption that they are all rich, they are supporting you, some are giving you their widow's might. I said, okay. I saw a reason with my wife and I said, okay, let me suggest this. But again, these people might think that I'm trying to play fast on them. I mean, these are people that have experienced, experienced MMM, experienced a whole lot of things. I'm not going to put people in that space. But hey, again, we had a conversation and I said, okay. It was just a simple copy and paste. So when I was in Brilla, when I was in Brilla, in our uh, staff meeting, I uh, suggested that uh, since this was the rise of uh, uh, real estate companies coming to do adverts with us, we're doing with your banner, Adron Homes came, Revolution Plus came, different different people like that came. And I said, okay, Crusaders came, insurance people came. I remember suggesting in, in our meetings that, listen, the salary we earn here will not, there's nobody in this company that can buy a house. If you like more work, 200 years. May God give us the strength of Abraham or Methuselah. We no go fee buy a house. Okay, even if now for Shongo Ota, we're not gonna fit. But if we use the power of numbers, we go fit by the house. So with these people coming in, more negotiate with management, uh, may they give us butter. Butter means all of us will get value for airtime. And then we'll go trade them with these land people. They go give us land, we'll pay the balance more small. So as we work, they go the deduct from our salary, right? And then from there, once we don't get our land, it could be we could because we're exposed group of people 
we could name it. Maybe we could take one of the most popular stadium, like uh, uh, Stadium Banabu, Amphid. Name it the Amphid Estate, and then all the streets, all the different buildings. We could tag up different great players and all that. It was a fantastic idea in my head at the time, so I thought. But if you see the way they shut the thing down, uh, I felt ashamed. Like I mean, I was very stupid. But you see, the thing about idea is that if it's really strong in your heart, it will keep coming. So immediately my wife said that. I said to them, like, I said, okay, let me go to this paper. I said, guys, why don't we, because it is very easy for you to have 10, 15, 20 friends. I say, this weekend, do more will go groove for Kubana or Quilos or anywhere, and it will happen. Or let's go eat. Uh, I remember, if you remain, recall, when I was in Brilla, I was doing something called the Fans Hangout, where I will take some of the fans between 10, 15 to 20 to different choice restaurants. Like we did Radisson, we did Oriental, we did uh, Four Point, we did a co hotel for buffet. And it was easy for people to come. They don't even know where I'm raising the money from, but it was easy for people to come for. That was me saying thank you. I took my birthday to Ikorudu, if you guys remember, even though the radio station I jacked it because all of a sudden um, sponsors got involved. And, but it's not a big deal, right? Good. Now, so I said, okay, let me just take that, copy it, and paste it here. And I spoke to the guys. I said, listen, why don't we do a lockdown like what Asna did uh, at the beginning uh, for a very long period of time? A lockdown of those of you that are here, we create another WhatsApp group and call it uh, a cooperative group. But this cooperative is not the one where we'll do money and every six months or every one year we'll give everybody money. No. First of all, I don't think everybody have that kind of huge amount of money. I me, mean, I'm big on money. So anything where the money no go get value, I, I spend big. Right, so I said, okay, why don't we do a cooperative where every week you put in 5k? That time we've not even registered the cooperative, we've not we're thinking of the name registration, but let's start. So we started last year, July. Every week, people put 5,000. I mean, the, the, the spreadsheet is here, everybody put 5,000 era, 5,000 era every week, and it was just great like that. So, some weeks I have some months I have five weeks. We started July 2023. The months I have five weeks, you know, you are you are you, you will pay. 25k a month. The ones that have four weeks, you pay 20k a month. And so the process started. Okay. Some people started, they didn't continue. Uh, they, they, they move out. They, they just left. Okay. So there are rules. We voted the ESCO, we voted the BOT, and everybody's fine. And then we went in the rigorous process of registration, vetting, doing all that thing by the Nigerian government. And we now have a cooperative, uh, a cooperative called the. Uh, the bright future, you know, cooperative. It's a very, you know, very simple one where people contribute this money. Now, weekly pay is 5K, like I said. But you can decide to say, okay, I'm coming in and my own weekly, I can take it up to 10K or 50K or depends. Be according to your strength. Don't start a thing that you cannot continue. There's not be show off. Now your own money. So over a period of time, now let me explain the kick in this. Like, it's not meant for you to say after six months, after one year, you want your money back. No, it's just there. Uh, two ways. One, this whole group of money would also be put into a very short investment. Recently, I met some people at Citibank. Uh, I had a conversation with them and I was like, okay, you guys are the major people. You guys and ADB, African Development Bank, are the major people that controls foreign investment in nigeria in africa like anywhere there is foreign investment coming in and out what are people doing to make money i, I have people who i want to grow with and i we have small money who want to put it in and they say oh there is a now this is not nigerian bank this is city bank you know what city bank is city bank is the remittance bank for all this money that you put send from abroad okay so long and short they told me okay there are a lot of uh, investment in charcoal, a lot of investment in charcoal exportation and uh, palm oil exportation and the rest of them, exploration and exportation and the rest of them. So it's something that you can invest in. So that's, again, another angle that we want to take the collective money here and put in there so that we annually be getting return on the money, which is uh, the idea uh, behind this. So if you if you feel the need to join the cooperative, reach me on my DM and then we'll talk about it. And that's, that's it. First off, I am not a signatory to the money, the, about, about, it's a layer of about 10 people more that are signatory to the money. So nobody is taking your money. It's not in anybody's private account. For almost a year, it was in somebody's private account and all the money were, were accounted for. So I can tell you that's what we do. What's the motive behind it? The people who have stood behind me, like Aaron and Marian with Moses, and lifted my hands up and said, okay, let's grow on this. I don't want to be the rich leader who have 
poor subordinate or poor followers. I don't want to be that guy. That I've always hated it. That's one of the reasons why I don't like the church, the Nigerian church anyway. I've always said that. I, I, I was telling somebody the other day, I've never seen an assistant pastor that is richer than the main pastor. Right? So no matter the business idea, no matter the faith, no matter the holiness, well, that's a different conversation. So I don't want to be that guy. Okay? The conversation will come. Again, in my industry, I've never seen anybody raise people to become rich like them, not to talk about better than them. But I want to change that narrative. I want to be able to say, okay, you want a car. We have fund available. We will buy the car for you. You pay us our money back. No interest on top of it. You want to buy a house. We can get you the house. You know, that's the kind of place that we want to be at. Uh, but we're not there yet. We're still just, uh, we're still just starting. So that's the, the 411 about the cooperative. If it's something that interests you, let me know. But please check your muscle first. So that's not the way you go feed join. Join. If you're not going to feed join. Day your day, day your day. I have a lot of people in the diaspora who decided, okay, you know what? I want to put this money there. It's not for me. I have people in Nigeria who are my younger ones, who are my family members. When you get to a certain place, we'll just transfer the money to them. They are growing and they are in school now. They are growing. I want to use that money to settle them, to do their business. And it's it's fine, okay? So it's up to you. Well, let's come back to your messages. Uh, where did we stop? Uh, we'll stop a lot. May I me say, boss, okay, my girlfriend, uh, one laugh tire she no know most of the pigeon i tire to explain the pigeon shah anyway i like and because you just make me remember my stay in worry back then demola abiodin brian says uh, i will still cross my hand onto the second leg course liverpool is the king of comeback but losing 3-0 at home to atalanta is shocking electric shock uh brand a or jazz band which of the band the dinner yes uh digital Alpha, the only member of this channel the only person who's still continuously registered as a member in this channel well thank you very much i uh, said good morning boss good morning i share your opinion too for seamen going to paris and german he said now nigerians go first abuse of seamen if he goes to the epa and does not score in three games in a row i did tell you straight away raymond crystal clear he said make we they do pigeon every friday thank you very much okay we've even said wednesday and friday and remember to say bro so uh i I tell clubs, say, make them come buy grills from me uh, so that uh, them go fit stand the Atlanta, Atlanta dance, but he refused. I'm sorry. For those of you who don't know, uh, Eri Maru is the best grill maker in Lagos, okay? So if you have event, you want to do a soon, you want Toki, Toki we get level. That type we sim card, when they talk about soft Toki, we get level. Uh, wait, but wait, 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 Kaja, not be the one with color also, not be the one with like, that's the guy, Scooby fish or Sabida fish or Croker fish, anyone, Bolly, we be say, uh, <laughs> he enter class, <laughs> we do plastic surgery. <laughs> that one, uh, this, this guy, I be the guy to go to, so look for the grill, the grill on Instagram, DM them, and they will be at your service. They, 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 they mobile. They will either dispatch to you or if you want me to call, stay by the side of your party and give you the very best. They are the people to go to. Having said that, the digital Avama say, I love the show yesterday. The Mede Mede Corner was fun. Yes, the digital Avama say, to switch uh, pitching to Queen's Pigeon, I guess is what you want to say, but also correct, decide to do it with it, Sabi. Uh, to Queen's English. Is always fun for worry boy. I feel you yesterday blending it and being spontaneous. Damn. Oh boy, thank you. Entire account too. Thank you very much for the Ososu. I remember to say cooperative. If you know, you know, bros. I tell them, okay, I understand you are part of it, so I understand why you say that. Uh I digital Avama say you are just speaking fact to uh you pray for visa, you pray for for water, you pray for move from Jasper to Bani. <laughs> I did like your Tip my line there, but use are better. The love I say this initiative is very nice. I like it. And um, I know I say imagine Leverkusen win the treble on beating. I think that will go down as one of the greatest achievements in football history. I think so too. Thank you very much, Edijala Ufoma, for swelling up our pulse on the channel with 10,000 naira. The last I say is uh, Liverpool beginning to uh, depreciate or is just a blip. Um, it should sound like uh, food or good music to Arsenal and City until they lose 3-0 in the league. This is Europa. It doesn't affect the league until they do that. Uh, it's not good music yet. Well, Oluwa Cheyadebo, say most of Liverpool's previous comebacks 
were at Anfield, Sha. I don't see them coming back away at Atalanta. Everyone will say, well done, uh, Dijala. Okay, uh, Dijala won for the dance. Uh, Kenny P say, I would love to see Aston Villa win the Europa Conference League. Me too. About this, I support that one, but uh, we shall see. Uh, you know, when you look at the Conference League, uh, let's go back to the Conference League and see. When you look at the Conference League, one of the things you need to uh, understand is this 2-1 that they beat Lille. Lille might go back to France and turn the table around. Uh, Fenerbahce might also beat... Uh, Olympiacos, Pires, they lost 3-2. So those are teams that can be problematic. Fiorentina drew at Victoria Pleasant. So I think there also could be a problem. And then Club Brugge and uh, Park. So it's not that it's not cut and dry. It's not easy uh, meet. It's not easy peasy for any opposition. But like he said, that's what he wants. I also want that. Not because I'm a fan of Aston Villa. No, I love Una Emery. I like to see him succeed. I thought that he came to Arsenal at the wrong time. He's not a bad coach, but he's not a great communicator, and he came at the wrong time, and so it was always going to be like that. So I desperately want to see him succeed uh, with another English club. Uh, it's looking like he's not going to make the top four next season while well, he's preparing himself for a competition that he's comfortable with. But either ways, uh, I, I I agree with you with that one, Kenny P. And then, uh, Henry Maru says, uh, now that thank you gift, I did thank you for so... Uh, the Olari uh, sorry, Oluwa Shei Adebowale say, why do you think he deserve a second chance next season? Who do you think, maybe, sorry, who do you think deserve a second chance next season between Poch and Ten Hag? My personal opinion. This is my own opinion. I don't think that uh, uh, Pochettino can give Chelsea. So, first off, if Pochettino was coaching, coaching Everton, Aston Villa, West Ham, and, you know, they're having the bad season, I would say give him two, three more seasons, right? Eric Ten Hag, so let me break it down. Eric Ten Hag have a type of football, and thanks to Johnny Gaffa for educating me on that, have a type of football that is used to the Pep style of football, the higher style of football, which is, you know, intertwined, right? But he doesn't have the balls. It's not a decision maker. That ability to coach is not just in his introduction of tactics, the seven lane on the field. No. Why that is great, why that is fantastic, Pep's strength in coaching is found in his no-nonsense, brutal ability to cut you. Razor-sharp, surgical decision-making process. And that's what all of the great coaches are known for. That's why somebody like Asenvega will never be considered great in my by my books. Because his decision-making is next to zero. Even his substitution, fondling with Zipa all the time, is caught between decisions. Again, greatness is about decision. You like you know how they talk? Success and failure is down to the choices we make, right? People can pad and lie and tell the world that, oh, Asenvenga built a studio for, for Arsenal, blah, 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 on a shoestring budget. That lie, eh? Uh, he no go ever fi catch me. You know why? The thing about growing up is that you stop listening to what people say and you start asking yourself, do you believe this? Is this true? Umpty Dumpty sat on the wall, had a great fall and blah, blah, blah. No, you cannot believe all everything. You have to ask questions, right? And when you ask questions, if the budget that St. Wenger had at Asna versus the budget that Diego Simone had at Atle Atletico Madrid, which is smaller. Atletico Madrid budget is smaller. They built a new stadium. Can we sit here and say uh, Diego Simone built a new stadium for them? No. So anybody who comes up and while he was at Asna, did he sell any player for 50 million? No. But that's a different conversation. That's what the narrative they, they want us to believe. I choose to believe what I know. I'm old enough to be an adult. Now let's come back to Pochettino's uh, style of coaching. Pochettino's style of coaching is very, very, like, babysitting style. Like, let me babysit you people. You know, guys, you know, we have to win. You know, things are not easy, but uh, if you win, it will make you fine. I keep people like them, Dele Ali, even though Dele Ali is the architect of his own problem. But, you know, these are players, you know, you, you need to babysit them. But in a high-performance team, you don't babysit people. You make calls that are, tough, but the people need to know that you're making this call. That if you look at Ateta, Ateta is succeeding today because he was able to cut his own teammate, Mezutuzil. Once he did that, he was able to cut the guy who won him the FA Cup, his only title 
as a manager. Many as a man cannot go fit. As a man goes, ah, no, let me be loyal to him. Or, let me stay with him. Okay, <laughs> no, no. So if you want to be successful, you have to know how to make those decisions. So Pochettino is one of those people too who does not know how to make decisions. And Pochettino is not a guy who can tell you, I want this player out and the player will go out of the team. The player will still be there because he doesn't know how to make tough decisions. That's one. Eric Ten Hag is the most confused manager that I've seen in recent times. We can talk about the cracks, the, the, the layers of problem at Manchester United, but every other person that I've come in, I've built a team that resembles something going somewhere, but you just know that there is internal sabotage that is affecting it. This man have not done anything that resembles anything. As a matter of fact, Manchester United doesn't... Manchester United today is a team that anybody can greet their teeth and beat anywhere, home, away. I mean, this team lost 4 nil to Copenhagen, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, it's a 4-3. So, anybody can beat Man United. And when you're building a team, and that's the feeling people who come to play you, whether in your home or you're going to meet them in their ground, that's the feeling they have. It's time to go. Because, again... Uh, it means that your play players don't have confidence. Confidence is not a thing of tactics. Confidence is a thing of psychology. If it's what you tell them, what you make them feel like, and how they feel. And then the players are not on the same lane with you. I always say that um, uh, it starts with how you lead yourself. People want to see how you lead yourself. If you ever ask yourself, I a team that is so useless, uh, about almost 20 months ago, we were all two, two points off the relegation and Jabi Alonso took over the team. He didn't do any major signing. Some of the players that were there are still there and then they are now unbeatable. Nobody can beat them but in the league and in Europe. Okay, let's even say that Bayern Munich have been horrible. Have Dortmund been horrible? Has uh, Leipzig been horrible? How did they go out of nowhere and they are doing what they are doing both in cup games and in Europe? There, there must be something exceptional the coach is sending to these players. You don't look at that team and tell me, oh, the players that are at Chelsea right now are below the players that are at Leverkusen. I'm not going to agree. The players that are at Chelsea right now are below the players that are at Aston Villa. I'm not going to agree. Okay? So, it's uh, it's terrible the way he takes his decision. The Manchester United, when the season started, Manchester United have a squad that could at least challenge for the top four, not for the title. Title is a different conversation. Even Arsenal challenging for the title right now is an overkill. Let's be very honest. You know, Nova Kiel. The only reason why I, you know, I was confident that Arsenal would challenge for it, but I, I mean, I was putting my spam money on Liverpool was the fact that I know that Man City will not win the fourth title. It's not because they are not good or because they don't have a solid team. They just, the powers that be will not let them win it. So I know that once they, they push them out, maybe they put them to second or third, then one other team will step up. And we look at all the other teams. Arsenal was the only available team to step up to Liverpool. And that's exactly where we are. But I mean, my prediction might still go to go to raw. Well, I mean, might still go wrong, but hey, that's where I stand right now. So if you look at that, I'm not going to give any of those two a second chance. I'll fire Pochettino. As the season, as they play the final game of the season, it's gone. Because again, if you look at this Chelsea, the way they play tactically and his selection of players, and the way he doesn't understand that you have to put creative players so that you can be able to score goals and uh, start making demand by now and asking for the, the right player to come in to come and score the goals for you, then it's going to be a problem. Again, don't forget that if Man City does not win the league title this season, Man City is going to get better next season. Liverpool. We don't know what coach you are going to get. We're gonna we don't, if it's Amorim, maybe it will take one or two seasons to struggle. If it is um what's it called? If it is Gasparini, now that Gasparini has beaten them the way he did 3-0, they might go for him. It might take another two seasons to build up the team. Uh, Arsenal will get better from this season, next season. Arsenal will definitely increase their firepower up front. They will bring in Julian Timba will join the team. Let's hope that he doesn't pick up another whole season injury. You know, there will be strength in that area. They might be back up for 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 some other positions, uh, if Thomas Partey had to go, they'll be bringing another backup. So let's say they bring a player that clicks and do better. If you look at Ateta, the reign of Ateta, Ateta have not signed too many bad players, okay? So all these players have gone on to be better. And then the one that comes in after is better. When 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 he signed in um, Aaron Ramsey, Ramsey better than Leno. Now Raya, Raya is better than Ramsey. So if we go by that progression and that trajectory, that design, you can tell me that whoever is going to bring in will step up to the plate better than the guys that have been there before. Zincheku is better than um, the, the the guy that come from that came from Scotland that is now with Dress Society. That was his name again, uh, Karen Tierney. And you know, uh, Tomiyasu better than uh, Cedric Suarez or Chambers and the rest of it. So when you look at the way he's signing these players, you can say they are progressing. So. Arsenal will progress. Liverpool, uh, Liverpool might progress. Man City definitely will progress. Come back again to start winning their titles. Where would Chelsea be? Tottenham Hotspur might improve. 
I mean, they might be shitty to me, they might be terrible to me, but you can't take your eyes off them. If they improve that midfield a bit, they improve that strike force a bit, they just might be the team that comes in and try to surprise everybody. They have everything going for them. They have depth profile to pay, but they have a fantastic stadium. They make more money currently in England. They make more money than any other team in the league, meaning that money might pretty soon not be a problem, and then they start using money to buy their, their results. So, where would Chelsea fit in? Where would Man U fit in in this conversation? Because the whole expectation is that your club goes, Liverpool will fall. Okay, let's even agree that Liverpool will drop. Uh, you know how we talk for worry? Kako go for Mugu go shop. No, Mugu go for Kako go shop, sorry. Uh, or Machiavellian principle, take one kingdom to fall for another to rise. But look at it carefully. The only team in the top four that looks likely to fall, and that's a proposition, the probability is Liverpool. So if Liverpool falls, who step, who's more likely to step in? Uh, Tottenham Hotspur. But because they are a shitty team, that's why nobody's even taking them serious in the first place. Because if Tottenham Hotspur are not a shitty team and not, you know, a discombobulated team, nobody will be talking about a Man U or Chelsea coming in with this set, set of coaches. So you need to bring in guys who can turn it around. And I think that Jim Radcliffe is all, you know, I mean, he's talking and I hope that eventually he convert talks into actions and set the structures right and everything goes the way they're supposed to go. We would see how that goes. But for me, to answer your question straight up, bro, I'm going to let the two of them get out. Tell them to get out of my team. I, I don't need you, my team. Demola Biori Ryan say, I also want Villa to win the Conference League because of Emery. Make Isha Allah Asena win this weekend. Uh, Olua Cheyari Bawale say, so Bayern is going to uh, rehire Andy Guzman again. Now, wow. Why them concert can go back to my interview with... Um, with Mario Lowe, we both agree that Nigosman is the person that will replace Thomas Tuko. We both agree on that day. So I saw this coming. I'm not surprised. Adisha Lafama say, uh, make will not talk Porsche matter. Uh, Chelsea is uh, she too with Porsche. Haba, the Chelsea owners have shown the lack of ambition for action. Not only money them sabi spend at this rate. Now 10 years trophy less. Uh, Oluwashi Yadibo Ali say, if Mario was Chelsea coach and was giving the one billion to spend, Chelsea would have been in the title race. Now I agree with you on that one. And this allow for my says a push, uh, push they do Mr. Nice Guy. His press conference just shows how unambitious he is. Okay, the lot of say, even when Venga had all the power, he didn't make use of it. Venga is like someone who has money stashed but is full of uh needs around him. Venga Nakola. I like that guy. Oluwashi Adebowale say, you are right. Push seems too much of a nice guy. But then, do you think the Chelsea young squad can be handled by a tougher manager like Mourinho? Young players nowadays are not very tough. Then he will fire them. He will fire them and get to the players that are tough. The thing about, the thing about success and uh, winning is that the players that Spalletti was coaching at Napoli, they were, they were also fragile. They were young players. They've not won anything in their life before. But Spalletti knocked them into shape, okay? Uh, I, I listened to Usime talk one time, and he said Spalletti was sleeping in the office. Listen, eh, and if you go back to Manchester United players under Silas, because I tell you that they will come to the office, maybe like they pretend like they forgot something in the night. The only light that is on is the light in Silas, because it's office. And then they walk in, and they find out that the man is still in the office. It's, it's that thing that make your players like, oh boy, this guy, this guy is not joking, oh. We got to match up his ambition. He's not playing. He's the one that is coaching, but he's working more than every other person. We've got to match his ambition. And those little things matters. So I just it's not a nice guy. I mean, look at all the players that they've caught from Roy Kane, he, he, lawyer servant, to David Beckham, to Yap Stam, Ruth Van Nistelrooy, Brian Robson, uh, Steve Bruce. Everybody that they've caught from that team is from a brutal place. Leadership is not in... Now, the other day, I was, we were having a conversation about president and all that. And I said to somebody that... I didn't vote for Tunibu, but I don't think that uh, uh, Peter B would have done better. Okay? Because sometimes being nice is the biggest problem. Uh, was was Gulag Jonathan's biggest malice? He was a nice guy. He was a nice guy. He couldn't call his cabinet, his, his, his ministers to order. He couldn't talk, you know, talk to people in the way a leader would talk. This is not good. This you're doing is not good. No. Remember when we were growing up, there's a statement that every father have. I don't know the meeting where all of them, the entire... But every one of you watching this show have heard this word one time or the other. And once that word comes out of your father's mouth, no matter how stubborn, no matter the jago that way you be, you go come under anointing of humility. The word is, my friend. Raise your hand up if your papa never used that word for you. Just show a sign in the comment section. 
That what my friend, maybe your mom, they talk to you, you they, you know, you know, kids will not argue with our mom. You they argue at your, your popsy day room. You know, fathers are always in the room. I don't understand. Always in the room or they're in this living room, put their leg on table, tie towel or tie rapper or wear knicker or trouser or they're doing one thing, play whistle, listening to Don Williams or uh, Kenny Rogers or Eric Donaldson, Ken Village. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> and then you call the argue. You, you just, you're not seeing face. So you just hear, my friend, once you hear that word, everybody, our keno go straight. Our keno bembe. Everybody align. Eh? You have to have a leader like that in the team. I, I I say it over and over and over again. Coaching is not a democracy; it's an autocracy. You have to be autocratic. Jack Cancelo play football. The best football, the most cap player. The season before they won the league, Abi. <laughs> the following season, it is saying to arrive. What is the coach? What is what is Pep Guardiola doing? Get a tat come up for here. Just smelly body. That's how it works. So that's how Ibrahimovic, big boy. Get her, come up for here. I'm a little. You form like say you too much. Get her, come up for here. That's the way it works. You might come out and do podcasts and do. I don't like this person. I don't like that person. No, a gentleman does not succeed. That's why most ex Nigeria international will never be successful coaches because they want to present themselves as good people. We're nice people. I saw you go even coaching the national team and players are doing something it's like uh, the coaches I play under. This these players. <laughs> Let me not say anything. Um, uh, Demola Biori Bari say doing only error at United. We know what they are capable of doing, but this avatar uh, hag <laughs> in no get direction. Oliver Shade Bari say poach uh, trans transitional end to end style of play doesn't suit the Chelsea midfield. Enzo and Caicedo are not very athletic to cover loads of space. Uh, they need a possession-based manager, in my opinion, I agree with you 100%. And a coach, if you day here, you not be coach, you not get coaching degree, you not get coaching experience. If you feel know this one, coach, wait on the coach for years, no feel know this one, why do you want to keep him on the job? Although I say, yeah, the say, oh, more, now, sad gate, man, eh, you want to sign, oh, uh, from a pan to, to fire. Uh, the other I say, Ten Hag needs to be, Fire course is looking like a schoolboy coach. And as for Porch, uh, sports success is the best he can give. Maybe uh, he should try national team. Uh, club pressure might not be suitable for him. I didn't have my say, my friend, <laughs> uh, would they hear them? Uh, them would, they, would they hear them not born you well? Eh? Say, Pim, <laughs> and respect yourself. And remember, no reason I hope oh, he was there. Uh, is a Patrick long time no see as the cop beat Liverpool. So now you cut it come out to say good morning, boss. Uh, been a while. Everyone to say the word, eh? Hmm. It's second to none. Well, we've reached the one hour mark and it's time to pack our bags and baggages and go. Uh, like I always say, let me add this one out to all the things that I've always said about um, we must not be the problem but be the solution. We must not stand in the way of solution, uh, but rather support if we can't just uh, appreciate the persons that are bringing solutions. Uh, teach your children about safety. It's very, very important in this world that we're living in now that is risky, very, very risky and adventurous. Teach your children about safety, not just safety on boat, safety on, on car or plane. Also teach your children safety on their phone. Now, if you like, you see the phone, you will see their back. Abby. First, tell them what you are trying to protect them from and show them. Children learn well by you showing them. Show them dangers that have happened and then you follow that through. Be there for your children. Don't um, delegate the raising of your children to school teachers or house help. Be there for your children. The world that we are in and the influence that we have, the peer pressure that we had is different from the one that they have to deal with. And uh, sometimes you have to consider that because the ones we don't spoil, think about this for a minute. We were boys before we became men. Now. Remember back in the day, we always have one or two friends with the smoke, with the drink alcohol. Their greatest ambition are to convince us to smoke and drink alcohol. For girls, you will see like five girls, they'll be virgin as they grow up. Two don't begin chamfer. The greatest dream now to make sure say they make the other three, they convert the other three into chamfering. That's the like the, the, the greatest achievement. Your job is to also be the influencer of your children. Not leave influencing of your children to the hands of social media and other people. Influence them to do right. And please, my diaspora people, this is what I have for you today before I leave. As you go abroad, so it's good. Once you start raising your children, please reduce the negative talk about Nigeria. Because now those children, are, they will come fix Nigeria. But if all they have heard in their life is that there are witches in Nigeria, there is devil in Nigeria, there is evil in Nigeria, 
their mindset about Nigeria goes poor even before they enter Nigeria. So, uh, as I pack my bag and go, I read the last message. Mumu Man says, uh, I don't know any coach that will perform magic with this current Chelsea squad. There are. Uh, the team is uh, passing through transition, which ever coach that comes in would still need at least five years. That's what everybody said about Arsenal until Ateta came. Is that not what everybody said about Arsenal? That there is no coach that can come in and perform any miracle. Well, in three and a half season, look at where Arsenal have gone from never do well, hopeless, useless, horrible coach, can't even make it into the top four, doesn't have ambition, they are always bottling things to a team now. You know that people mock Arsenal now for drawing games against Man City. Man City was a guaranteed 4-0, 4-0, 3-0, was a guaranteed one. Three days before Ateta became Arsenal coach, Man City beat Arsenal at home 3-0. First half, three goals were scored. That's the same team now that will play against the same Man City with Haaland in it, and they will say, Arsenal, they celebrate, draw. Do you understand? There is always a coach that comes in and changes everything. These players are professional footballers. Forget their age. There is a coach that will make them play well. Chelsea was losing as if losing was going out of fashion. You can't remember that scene. They don't play Arsenal and win. They can take a two-goal lead against Arsenal and Kano Wako come from the bench and score a hat-trick. Jose Mourinho walking through the door. And all the story changed. That team was no longer beatable. Everything changed. So it's the same thing. It's about coach. No matter the quality of players you have, if you don't have the right coach walking in through the door, Pataka, nothing will happen. Well, this is why I draw the curtain. We'll be back again on Monday after all the weekend game. Okay, look, man, at day by your another person who have membership in on this channel. Yes, uh, the thing about membership is that the color of your name shows differently. Although I say, yeah, they say Lampard said his Chelsea team can't compete for titles yet. Tucho came in January and won the UCL. Thank you very much for answering. Uh, so if I use the word woman, I'll be made in Saturday morning. I say your name B for the for now say your name B for channel. Uh look my I say I think ETA should be given a chance with the upcoming structure. Gerard, that guy, may that make it Gerard Osabi. All coaches after Fergie worked with their hand tied. Uh the club is a mess. Say, I agree, but Eric Ten Hag don't know what he did do. Every other coach I've tried, but this guy, he don't know what he did do. People, it's time to go. Thank you very much for your comments. Uh, Dijala Ufoma, thank you very much for 10K. Fantastic one. God bless you. God bless everybody who's contributed to the show today. And uh, I always love you. Let's do this again on Monday. Bye-bye and have for yourself a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Ooh. They're frying something in the kitchen. Mm. Sure.